The South Pacific was settled by the Polynesians, who spread eastward from the Solomon Islands during the first millennium BC. By 1200 AD, the Polynesians had spread to every corner of a vast triangle of ocean whose apexes are Hawaii, New Zealand, and Easter Island, or Rapa Nui. When the first settlers arrived on Rapa Nui, it was densely forested, but by the 1600s, all of its trees were gone. For hundreds of years, Rapa Nui had supported a robust community that had enough surplus food and labor to sculpt, transport, and erect hundreds of enormous statues, or moai. But when the first Westerners landed on the island in 1722, resources on Rapa Nui were scarce. The surviving population was disorganized and impoverished. The collapse of this society can be blamed on deforestation, but why was this problem so severe on Rapa Nui while other Polynesian settlements escaped a similar fate? One reason is that Rapa Nui has a geographic disadvantage compared to the other islands of Polynesia. The growth rate of any tree is directly linked to latitude or distance from the equator. At lower latitudes, reforestation occurs more rapidly due to higher average temperatures. As you can see, Rapa Nui in yellow is farther from the equator than most of the islands of Polynesia. But another island, New Zealand, is even more distant from the equator than Rapa Nui. Why wasn't it deforested as well? Another factor that influences the abundance of trees is island size. Although New Zealand is distant from the equator, its two islands are larger than any others in Polynesia. Smaller islands are more likely to become deforested because their interiors are more accessible from coastal settlements, allowing higher population densities. As a tiny, isolated island, far from the equator, Rapa Nui was highly vulnerable to deforestation, and once its trees were cleared, its inhabitants had no place else to go. Oh.